Welcome to the NWI.com Political Roundtable for Sunday, December 8th. I'm Robert Blaskowitz, Assistant Managing Editor of the Times. Join with me Doug Ross, Editorial Page Editor of the Times, and Times Assistant Managing Editor Chris Zivanovic. Uh, we're gonna, this is a special edition. We're going to be talking about uh, specifically the Ileana uh, Expressway and the vote coming up. Uh, if you look at uh, today's, su- this, uh, this will be posted on Sunday, so if you look at Sunday's edition of the Times, we have plenty of coverage. Uh, both uh, in the uh, on the front page and in the forum section on the topic, so we, uh, we encourage you to go there, go online. We'll have we have additional videos uh, and, and uh, interactive coverage as well on NWI.com. But let's just jump right into uh, uh, this topic and what you see coming this week with the big with the big vote. Well, the vote is Thursday, mm-hmm. December twelfth, so right. people should. Stay tuned. And this is the vote. This I is mean, the vote. Yeah, we've had votes. We had we've had votes in Chicago by the by the uh, Metropolitan uh, Planning Commission. We've had votes by the NERPC Commission. Actually, it's the Chicago Metropolitan Ch- Agency for Planning. Right. 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 So. right. right. So, but it's so, the NERPC counterpart. Right. Yes. Exactly. Right. In Illinois. Exactly. And so, what this vote is about is: Does this project essentially qualify for federal funding? I mean, it could still you know, go forward or, or not, you know, regardless of this vote, but it'd be a hugely uh, uh, expensive project mm-hmm. without this, uh, or at least, you know, in terms of local and investor dollars. So, uh, so this is, this is really the, the big vote, mm-hmm. uh, the final vote, really, before you can decide is it going to go forward or not. Um, so it's, I think, um, What's the crystal ball say? You know, there's there's a lot of um, um, concern in South Lake County about you know, frankly, it's taking up farmland and and all of that. I think you know, regardless uh, if it is built, they're going to have to address some environmental concerns. Mm-hmm. There's the Lowell Observer, you know, the, not the, the Lowell Observatory, of course, <laughs> but there's the uh, observatory in Lowell mm-hmm. uh, and, or near Lowell, and so they're going to need to make sure, you know, they, they don't have light pollution for that, mm-hmm. and they'll have to watch water runoff uh, to uh, make sure that, you know, you don't pollute some of these wells because you know, keep in mind, if you build it through, you know, say, Munster, um, you know, Dyer, Cherville, you know, if you if you took a northern route like that and you had groundwater pollution, you know, they've got water from other sources. These are people who have it coming from, you know, uh, their, from the ground, aquifers. Right, yeah. their aquifers. Right, their aquifers. So, so right. you know, if, if, uh, if somebody poisons a water hole, as uh, Sheriff Woody would have said, you, you got to <laughs> dill, drig, dill, uh, uh, mm-hmm. even deeper, and, and and that's pretty expensive. You're talking thousands of dollars, you know, per per uh, home for that, so mm-hmm. or business. So that's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and there will, as readers will read today, a lot of impassioned voices, um, new voices that we interviewed talking about. They will lose their farms, they will lose their homes, or they will have a giant uh, tollway 20 feet from their backyards. It's it's very, I think it's very hard for them to accept. And while I think we all support economic development, it is a gut-wrenching, mm-hmm. a gut-wrenching thing. I sense and believe that, that it will go forward um, for good or ill. Mm-hmm. Some people say it will relieve the Borman. Um, other studies said not that much. Some people criticize and say it will only benefit Illinois, that it's, you know, a third airport is sure to follow no matter what anyone says. Other people say it will bring jobs to Indiana and it will bring needed mm-hmm. economic development. South County is just going to take time for the raw wounds to heal. That's probably correct. And I'm not saying this in any kind of cavalier manner because if I had to lose my home, I would find it tragic and I would mm-hmm. be against it. So I say it with deep sensitivity right. to the, to our neighbors right. to the south. Yeah. Right. Well, and, and that's, you know, economic development. I think I think everyone's looking for kind of the next big project. Now that B, yep. the BP project, which has been a, Excellent a, point. an economic boon to the area. And NIPSCOs. And NIPSCOs. Those are kind of winding down now. Yes. So they're... they're Needs to be something to replace those 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 uh, projects. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of people looking for work. Yes. Well, and and not just that. I mean, this is this is to me, this this is, comes down to three points. Mm-hmm. One is safety. I, I drive the Borman uh, 
quite a bit and you know if you've ever been boxed in between mm -hmm. trucks you know in front of you behind you and on either side mm -hmm. you realize how powerless you are <laughs> as a passenger car mm -hmm. uh, driver uh, and and so you know there's a big safety factor there uh, to to relieve congestion on not just the Borman but, but all the, uh, Highway 30. 10 all the all, right. the know, east all west. of these all of these right. uh, uh, and some of these you know yeah. Uh, really you need that uh, so so there's the safety factor um, there's the uh, economic boon of course of, mm -hmm. of all the jobs but uh, um, but then there's the the idea that you're easing commerce and you know mm -hmm. making it easier not just in South Lake County uh, and of course across the line in Illinois where you know you'll have uh, long term you'll have probably some truck stops developed and you know restaurants you know maybe some factories might come mm -hmm. in you know uh, you know who knows what might develop because of these ancillary things over the decades but also you're going to be able to get on and off the Borman Act a lot easier if you shift the traffic to the south so um, so that opens up some opportunities uh, North County I think mm -hmm. uh, you're not just you know shuttled in here and you know boxed in and where you can't get out and actually see what each community has to offer yeah well what what are the implicate you know looking toward the vote on Thursday what are the implications if it if it gets approved and what are the implications if it doesn't get approved um, if it gets approved it's going to be on a fast track that it goes to uh, you know let's talk to the investors you know and it's it's up for bids and and all of this um, the states are putting up some upfront money to build mm -hmm. it uh, and then you know probably re you know almost definitely recouping that over time mm -hmm. uh, but the, that's how you get the road bill uh, without this you know without the public-private partnership wouldn't get done right. neither state would have the money for this right so um, so I think you know it goes on a fast track if it doesn't happen um, I think it just gets delayed for a while and, and the idea will come back up later. I agree. I think the idea will come up. I mean, it, it, even if they lose, I think it'll be a close vote and that um, the proponents won't, won't let it go, especially because there seems to be support in Illinois. Yeah. I think it's an idea whose time has come and sometimes you just can't stand in its mm -hmm. way. It eventually will out. Yeah. I mean, you've got both governors for it right. and, and a very conservative governor in Indiana for, um, you know, the senators uh, speaking out, Senator Kirk and uh, Senator Coates speaking out in favor of it uh, just Friday, uh, you know, speaks well of the project mm -hmm. and, you know, the business community certainly loves it as well. Yeah. Well, well, we'll certainly be watching closely on Thursday uh, for the results of that vote, and you can you can uh, find the latest news on NWI.com and, of course, in, in the Times as well. So we thank you for watching this special edition of the Political Roundtable, and we'll be back next week. Thank you.